In the last sequence we saw how to manage users, what we're going to do now is how see how to manage sessions. So the sessions, as I mentioned previously, are um, a way to give a timely context to a course. So this is a bit difficult to see from this page. What we're going to do is create a new session. We're going to add a new a tra a training session. Sorry and then we're gonna have to pick a name so what are we gonna do but this is this is really oh it's really great for for universities for example because they can decide that a student will follow or well, a group of students will follow a specific set of courses and so they should be subscribed to this, this kind of semester of courses okay so we could call it semester um 2004-12 Okay, so this is the second part of 2004, and then we can pick a, a coach name. So we're gonna pick uh, uh, John Doe here, and then we can pick a category if there is uh, of, of sessions. And then we can define a start date and an end date. So the start date will be today, the end date will be in a year. Well, that's a bit too far, maybe. So it will be in uh, April 2005. And once it's finished, the session will still be visible, but only in read-only. So it will be accessible, but students won't be able to deliver ex um, yeah, exams or or to send uh, or to create new forums and that kind of stuff. Now I go to next step, and here we have a very special case where it tells me that uh, the there's there was an invalid end date maybe I, I i chose like a month where there is no there is no day that matches what i was requesting okay well this is unl un this is unlucky but okay let's, let's go now there we go so the next step is to decide which courses will be followed inside this session so let's pick two and so the student that is subscribed to this session will actually be able to access two different courses. Let, let's pick a third one. Okay, so three different courses. Now I click on the, the option here and I go to next step. And the next step asks me to pick students. Now this is a, this is a list that appears when, there, when you have like 15,000 users or 50,000 users. That's, that's become very difficult to search because the list is too big. So to avoid that, we, we put a, a field that you have to uh, to fill to to actually get a uh, recommendation on, on on what type of user could be subscribed to the to the course. So I'm just gonna add a few ones. Yeah, but if you are not really fond of that, you can use the multiple registration uh, setting. That will allow you to see directly the, all the all the users and do something like this, which is much faster than picking each name one per one. And then we're clicking on finish session creation, and we'll get to the screen to the session screen. The session screen is really basic, so you have the information that you um, set when creating the the session. And then you have the list of courses and the list of, of users. There can be exceptions. So for example, this user here uh, could already have taken this course here. So it will be part of this session, but it won't have to give this course again. So in this case, I'm going to click on this icon here that says block user from courses in this session. And so I can say, for example, this one it doesn't have to take it okay there we go so if if the student is subscribed to the session uh like like uh, pirot here and he enters the interface he won't see this course because we removed it for him so he only has the the two other courses but he's following it he's following them sorry with the rest of his uh, fellow students so normally he should uh, he should have 
some kind of uh, possible interaction with uh, other students while in this case it will just not work on, on this course this time okay so this is the creation of sessions uh, once a session is created you'll get it uh, on the list here and then you can go back to the sessions list and do something like import sessions list in CSV format import a list of uh, HR directors export a list of session copy a course from a session to another session and then get that kind of stuff so this is it for the sessions based tutorial that was volume 7 of these 10 videos tutorial about uh, Camilo LMS. See you in the next video.